that's more. This Maddox and Logan Smith standout pitchers on this year's BHS baseball team. Uh, Hunter, you've obviously never thrown down a power park before. If the opportunity presents itself, uh, what's your mindset going to be for it? Well, it's just another game. I mean, I've been preparing for this for a while now, and I want to get that opportunity, so I'll just get on there and see what happens. All right. Logan, you um, threw and won the uh, state championship game last year. You've been struggling here of late. Uh, are you excited to go down there and kind of show everybody what you can do on the big stage again? Yeah, it's it's going to be fun going back down there again, going seeing what you can do on the field. I'm not nervous at all. I prepared the whole year last year to go out and throw. Here with designated hitter Elijah Drummond and shortstop Dante Bonamico. Elijah, you have the uh, highest average on the team this year. What's really been the key to success for you at the plate? Uh, the key has really been coming out of that eight spot. You get to see a lot of pitches uh, from the hitters before. and. The guys in front of you really get on base, so it gives you a chance to get a lot of RBIs and a lot of, a lot of more, a lot more opportunities that you would get without hitting in the eight spot. Okay, uh, Dante, you obviously played two full games last year at the state tournament as a sophomore. Uh, how does that experience really help you this year, and will help you uh, be kind of a mentor to the, like other players? Yeah, um, yeah. That first game against Chapelville last year, you know, I was kind of nervous with all those seniors that we had. You know, being a sophomore, so uh, you know, just just taking it and uh, you know, telling the other guys, don't be nervous and uh, you know, don't let the big crowds and big stage get to you. All right, uh, Hunter, I'll start with you this time. Uh, what's one team that you really look forward to playing? Oh, that have to be like Fairmont Senior because you know, it's always an intense game. It's a good driver we got going for all sports. I mean, everything always gets heated. You know, it's always a fun game to play. All right, Logan, how about you? Who do you really look forward to? I'm um, probably Jefferson because they're one of the top teams in the state. Get a good competition. We have to be on an A game to beat them. Dante, I'll start with you. Uh, what's one game this year that has really la left a lasting impression on you? Uh, that trip we took to the Eastern Panhandle when we took on Jefferson the first game. Uh, we came into the seventh inning, you know, playing a terrible game uh, through six, and uh, we were down seven one with two outs, and we got the bats rolling, and Hunter Fane ended up hitting a home run to put us on top nine to seven. And uh, it, it was it was a memorable game, one I've never been a part of like that. So it was it was pretty great. All right, Elijah, what about you? Uh, it's definitely the latest Lincoln game because we got pretty fired up after we lost to him the first time, and I think that's the hungriest we've been all year. And I had a home run that game, so that was my first one of this year. So that's pretty memorable. We've got uh, everybody up here now. We're gonna go ahead and share a few funny stories that we've encountered throughout the year. And Dante, I'll start with you. You can take the mic. Uh, the trip in Virginia when we were on our way to the game, you know, none of us really knew where we were going, so we had a bus, uh, the hotel bus guy, drive us, and uh, he wasn't too sure either. So uh, it, it was just kind of scary for that guy to uh, be in charge of us at that moment. <laughs> All right, Elijah, who do you think about is the funniest on the team? It's uh, Jacob DeFalco. And why would that be? Because he's a little falcon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hunter, uh, you want to share a funny instance of DeFalco since Elijah said he was? Yeah, Tanner and DeFalco, they'd always have some dance-offs. It was pretty funny. They had a big one coming up at the dinner we just had last yesterday. And uh, a couple of players got involved. It was pretty funny. Logan, I have something to say. Here we go. Well, Elijah, I disagree with with you on who you think the funniest person on the team is, because I would have to go with Zach Hyman. Just because earlier down the road, he tweeted Angelica from WDTV and kind of told her about Dante's media crush for her. <laughs>